Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my monthly favorite. It is, what month is it? My May favorite, I cannot believe it. I can't believe May's over, I can't believe it's June, I can't believe just, summer is like here practically. There's one more week of school left. Ah, I just can't believe any of it, it's crazy. So, let's get into the favorites. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is this e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. And this is what it looks like. It's their cool bronzer. They have a few, at least two other ones like this. This one is matte. Well, this one is mostly matte. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's mostly matte. It, does, it has a little glow, but it's not like super intense shimmer or micro glitter or anything like that. But anyways, I've been loving this this month. I have just been using this with this brush. This is the Arbonne cheek it just says Arbonne cheek brush but it's like an angled kind of like a bronzer brush and I have been using this and just loving these two together so I basically use this for bronzing and contouring in one when I don't feel like doing a lot of intense contouring I put this brush in it and I really just swirl it around I kind of like rotate it and swirl it and then I tap it off just to make sure I get even amounts of all the all four colors and then I just put it right here and I am wearing it today I just put it just like this and this brush sort of cups the cheekbone perfectly and just applies it exactly where I want it where it does like a contouring and bronzering kind of double double duty type thing and I just really blend that out and then I will bring it up in the forehead just a little bit and blend it out I like to bring it on my jawline and then the nice thing about this is where I want a little bit less intense color I will stay away from this darker one and just focus on these lighter ones for like in here just to get like an even bronzed look on my whole face but not as much of the contouring if that makes sense anyways I have just been loving this elf cool bronzer I think it's like three dollars at the drugstore or something so so nice Another e.l.f. product I've been loving, I'm trying not to mention too many things I've already talked about in the month of May, but I have to mention this again. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. It has four highlighters in it. I believe this is $6, and I have just been loving this so much as like a base highlighter. So when I do a look of any kind, I will reach for one of these, put it on where I want my highlight, and then I'll go in with a more intense highlighter, like a Becca one or something like that. But this one is a really good base highlighter for just that glowing from within type look and I also have been branching out a little bit in, the, in highlighting other areas of my face like my chin my nose and my forehead I don't do that a lot just because it's so easy to overdo it but this is a nice soft highlighter that it's good to kind of experiment with that kind of thing if you're looking to experiment with it I always talk about my Too Faced setting powder that I love well today I'm going to talk about a different one this is my Arbonne uh, sheer pressed powder in dark and it's actually not that dark for being the darkest shade that they have But that's okay. This works for me and it is pretty sheer So it really it really does work and I've just been using this elf I don't know this is their flat powder brush flat top powder brush with it and I just apply it all over my face I use this to set my makeup um, It adds a little bit of coverage because it does have a little bit of color in there So if you have like a BB cream or something and you want that extra coverage This is a good one to go with that, but I also just like to use it just as setting setting my makeup as a sheer setting powder next I have one blush I wanted to talk about this is very exciting for me this is my first makeup geek blush and I guess they reformulated their blushes I didn't realize this when I got this in my boxy charm but then I saw Marlena's video and she did reformulate all the blushes they are new colors and the one I have is XOXO so this is so soft and beautiful and pigmented and perfect for summer on my skin tone I really like it I am wearing this today and it's just so beautiful I love the packaging to it I love the mirror I love just this whole thing I've seen their blushes when she first came out with the blushes they were not in this nice of a packaging so I just really love this I'm really loving this color I kind of want to get a few more I've been really loving this blink black lash mascara primer I normally don't use a mascara primer or if I do it's kind of like yeah it's kind of nice but it's not something that I need to use every day well this is something I've been using every day and I use this with my better than sex Too Faced mascara and what I found works the best, this is what the wand looks like. It's kind of like that, I don't know, flat if you, if, if that is what it is. Anyways, um, I put it on my lashes and I actually don't let it dry. I put it on and then I put whatever mascara, usually the Too Faced Better Than Sex, right over it before it gets a chance to dry. And it really does increase the volume and thickness of the lashes. So I really have been loving this. And this I got in a BoxyCharm as well. I have one single eyeshadow that I wanted to mention. This is by Makeup Geek and this is in the shade Ritzy. It's a duo chrome and it's so pretty. I love it as just like a single lid shadow, which is funny because last month I mentioned a single shadow that I loved just like on the lid as a single shadow. I guess that's my thing in the spring and summer, but it's like this greenish reddish duo chrome 
and it's so pretty. This I got in a box charm too. It's such a beautiful shade, and I also have been using it with this brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk number 112 brush, and most of my Sonia Kashuk brushes are limited edition, but this one is not. You can still buy this at Target. It's got this really unique kind of dome thing here, and yet it's like thinner, if, if you know what I mean. I I didn't think it would work very well for eyeshadow, but it's actually perfect for this kind of eyeshadow, like a single lid color, just applying it all over the lid. The shape of this brush, especially the top of the bristles, really works well. So Sonia Kashuk number 112, I've been really loving for eyeshadow. An eyeshadow palette that I have been reaching for again this month is my Too Faced Vice Limited Reloaded XX. 20? I don't know. It's the newest Vice palette that they have, and it's been out for a while, but it is still available in Ulta. I just did a tutorial with this using a bunch of the purple shades, which I just love, but every time I open this and start using it, I fall in love with it all over again. So if you, if you like bright colors, if you like Urban Decay shadows, I suggest you grab this before it's gone, because it's a really great palette. It comes with a double-ended brush. It's not in here, but it comes with it, and a giant mirror. And these particular neutral shades, like the matte neutrals, are really great in this palette, too, so I've been loving this a lot. Lastly, I have three lip products to talk about. Let's start with the bright one. This is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Mixed Berry Souffle. I did a tutorial with this one in the month of May. And I did a several videos wearing it as well because I just love this shade. It's like the perfect bright purple, but it's it's just it's not so bright that it's like a neon purple. It's just I don't know. You guys have probably seen it on me. I'll link below the uh, tutorial where I do this. I'll link below any tutorials that I did with any of these products that I'm mentioning. But I've just been really loving this, and the formula is great. These last all day. They don't budge. They I mean literally like eight to ten hours they will last even if you eat and drink a little bit they will last and the wand is really really nice the formula is thin so it doesn't feel dry or cakey it's just a really good formula so if you see these I definitely recommend you buy them and they're like three dollars so four dollars three or four dollars that's what the wand looks like so it's just just really great just I'm really glad I, I went on eBay I bought these on eBay because I just wanted the complete collection. I did a swatch video with them as well, but um, I'm really glad I did that because I really love these. I also wanted to talk about this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pasadena. This is another liquid lipstick. I almost thought I had all matte liquid lipsticks. I don't. I have two matte ones and one not matte one. Anyways, so this is a much lighter shade and it does dry matte, but it's really pretty. I love it. Let me swatch it for you. There's a swatch. So that's like a really nice neutral shade that is good for when I have really dark intense, maybe smoky eye or something like that, or lots of face makeup going on and I just want a simple um, lip to go with it. So that's a really good one for that. Let me swatch the Giordano one too because I just talked so much about it and I didn't even show you. Wow, that was a lot of product that came out, but there it is. Look at that color, so pretty. And then the last lip product I wanted to talk about is this gloss from Mana Kadar. Now it is a gloss, and now as I'm talking, I feel like I've mentioned this in a favorites before, so I'm sorry if I have, but um, it's called a gloss, but it's really more of a liquid lipstick. It's not matte by any means, but it has the pigmentation of a liquid lipstick. And let me just swatch it here. Let me just swatch it. I don't know why I say it like that, but look at how intense and opaque that is. Like it's more than a gloss in my opinion. So I don't know, and this is what the wand looks like. But I find myself reaching for this one a lot when I don't know what else to reach for. I don't necessarily want something matte. I don't want something that's going to be difficult or a lot of work. I just want something that will look good and look like I have something on my lips. And this is just what I've been reaching for a lot. I've worn this in a few videos and I don't know. Did I say the shade? The shade is called Lucky. All right, guys, that is it for my May favorites. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other people find me in the YouTube world. And make sure you're subscribed. I'm posting videos at least three days a week. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys as always. And I will talk to you again very soon.